What inspires you? The video you're about to watch is a testimony that inspires me. God working in the heart of a man towards Northeast church pioneering, but he's not a church pioneer. I trust that the following video will be a blessing to you. In 2016, I was at the Church Pioneering Conference, and as I was sitting there watching men, listening to men share their burden, share their needs, I started seeing men that I get to fellowship with on a regular basis get behind these men. And it wasn't long as I was sitting there, I was realizing that our church has the opportunity every year to host the faith tournament. And a lot of these men that were getting behind these church planters are men that bring their students and bring their teachers and, and people to the faith tournament. And so God just continued to uh, really just impress upon my heart, well, why don't we come together and use something that we all love and, and allow that money and those funds to go uh, to church planting. For a little bit, I, I didn't know that I was too excited about that because our, uh, our church uh, looks forward to that and our, our budget looks forward to that. And uh, so the, the great thing was God just kept impressing on my heart, you know, this could be something of faith. And why don't you uh, give this by faith? And uh, so, so I prayed about it. And six months later, I sat down with our deacons. All seven of those men in unison uh, said, why would we not uh, do something by faith if God's leading us? And let's give the money that comes in to church planting. It's no secret that, you know, Churches need funds, and, and Faith Baptist Church is no different. We have many needs. Our, our Christian Academy, our, our church, uh, all the faith promise, all those things, we, we definitely um, have those needs. And I think what it boils down to is that, again, that we would just live those surrendered lives, that we would look and say, you know, Lord, what do I have? At Faith Baptist Church, the tournament um, is very important, um, something that our people love. But it's not something that we need to hold so tight to and not say, you know, if God desires it, we just want him to have it. Whatever's going to bring him the most glory, we want to give him the glory. And uh, we don't want to stand in the way. We don't want to hold it too tight. We don't want to keep something so close. You know, as a pastor, um, I, I preach often to our people, give the Lord what he asks, surrender. How often do we sing the, you know, the invitation song, I surrender all? Uh, but there's often those little things that we're holding on to and we're, we're clinging to. For me, I'm asking God to use this in such a significant way, uh, not only in our church, not only in the lives of students, but even pastors. When people come to the faith tournament, I just want them to relax. I want them to have a great time. I want them to network with people. I want them to you know, see the needs that other church ministries have. And maybe we would just all look, how could we help one another? so that God's word continues, so that God's word gets further, so that lives are changed. Um, specifically, these church planners, where they are, their Jerusalem, you know, how can we help them to reach that city that they are in for the Lord Jesus Christ? 